Hey, it's Jeff Cole with a quick example on how to fill out an FMEA. In the prior video, we took a look at a typical FMEA template, and you will simply fill this out going from left to right. The first column is the process step. So you would take your process flow chart. In this case, we have a process for filling out a form, and you're going to simply copy those steps into the column called process step. So we enter the item on the form, we enter the amount on the form. From there, we're going to take a look at what could possibly go wrong. Each of these steps could potentially fail in multiple ways. So we ask the question, what could possibly go wrong? For each step, we think through what might go wrong. We're entering the amount on the form, we might enter the wrong amount, we might leave the field blank. From there, we go on to potential effects. We're going to ask, so what? If this failure mode happened, what would the effect be? Well, if we enter the wrong amount, we might overbill or underbill a patient. From there, it is time to quantify the risk. And first up is severity risk. We're going to say, how severe would this impact be if this failure occurred? FMEA traditionally uses a 10-point scale where high numbers are bad. A 1 on a severity scale means no one would notice. A 10 is something that potentially could kill or injure someone. So we assign our severity ratings based on either data on the process, subject matter expertise, or a discussion amongst your team. From there, we're going to identify potential causes. We're going to ask what might cause this failure. Each failure might have multiple potential causes. So we'll say, why did we get the wrong amount? Well, we looked it up wrong, we transposed figures, maybe we did a wrong calculation. After we've done this, it's time for another quantification. In this case, we're going to say, how likely is this to happen? Again, on a 1 to 10 scale, that could range from a 0 to 100%. It could be time-oriented, chance per million, chance per billion, or just simply on a low to very high kind of scale. We get our number for that. We move on to controls in which case we're going to ask, what is in place to detect or prevent a failure? So a random audit of forms might detect that we've entered the wrong amount before it really causes problems. After we've done that, it's time to quantify one last time with what's called detectability. We're going to say, how detectable is this problem? We'll use a 10-point scale. A 1 means we're almost certain of detecting this well in advance, where a 10 is absolutely uncertain until after the failure. Once we have these numbers, they all roll up into what's called an RPN, or a risk priority number, which is severity times occurrence times detection. Because these are on a 1 to 10 scale, this will give you a risk quantification number ranging from 1 to 1,000. So the most dangerous thing that you could have on an FMEA would be something that's so severe it could kill or injure someone, it's very likely to occur, and we're not going to see it coming until after the fact. That would give you the highest risk score. The lowest risk score would be something where if it happened, no one would even notice. It's only going to happen once every thousand years, and if it does happen, we'll see it coming well in advance, and we can stop that from making an impact. So we take this, we add the RPN number to our spreadsheet, and now we have identified and quantified risk. The rest of this spreadsheet is used to allow us to take those high RPN numbers, assign someone to reduce that risk, and when they've put those controls in place, we'll reevaluate and calculate how much risk has been reduced from our process. This is a very popular tool in operational excellence, and it's used a lot. So that's a quick overview, and I hope you found it helpful. As always, if you found this video anywhere other than the website, head on over to lsscert.com, where you can subscribe to the newsletter, and we've got a lot of other great resources for you there. Thanks for watching.